Introducing the latest creation from i3 Detroit, the Rainbowtron, running Photonic Beats Regulator software. The board has eight colors across the bottom, each with an associated sample sound. Simply touch the board to place these colors across it, building up beats and even full songs in real time. The Rainbowtron is a large interactive display board, with each cell or pixel being 5 inches by 5 inches. Each cell also has the ability to detect touch using infrared. Overall, there are a total of 426 individually dressable RGB LEDs and 48 touch sensitive cells. Each cell has a carrier board that holds two RGB LEDs. It also holds a small circuit board that contains an infrared emitter and a matched infrared receiver. Eight carrier boards are mounted onto an MDF backplane. A multiplexing board is wired to the back side of the backplane and wired up. The multiplexer board selects two cells at a time, both turning on its infrared emitter and selecting its analog output. The six rows are mounted in the frame and wired to the main processor carrier board. The processor we are using is a Teensy 3, which is an Arduino compatible ARM processor running at 96 MHz. All the boards were designed in-house. The cell and multiplexer boards were sent out for manufacturing, while the processor carrier board was milled on our own protomat machine. In total, we had over 1,750 solder connections to make. While the TNC3 directly controls the RGB LEDs for the cells, it offloads the strip driving to the turbo encabulator over a 3.3 volt I2C bus running at 1.2 MHz. The row structure was laser cut from MDF and then glued together. Each cell then has its own laser cut acrylic face, picked for both its light diffusion properties and the ability to detect IR through it. For public display, we chose to take the Rainbowtron to PenguinCon an annual conference in Metro Detroit that covers a wide variety of nerd culture topics and draws over a thousand participants a year. The major drawback was that this took a week off of the timeline, giving us only 20 days from the inception of the project to presentation. Over the course of the weekend, we had over 100 people interact with the Rainbowtron. The Rainbowtron is actually a generic input-output device. The main software runs on a separate computer, using serial over USB to send update information as well as to receive infrared feedback. Over time, many more interaction modes will be developed. And what Red Bull Creation Project would be complete without an Easter egg?